In what continues to be reforms aimed at sanitizing national examinations, President Uhuru Kenyatta has directed the Education Ministry to seize the use of index numbers and instead ensure all registered examination candidates have unique personal identifiers in student registration numbers. President Kenyatta says the students will use the personal identifiers throughout the presence at all levels in the country's education system. Now, that with effect from 2017, the President has directed us to ensure that every child in school in Kenya is given a student registration number that they will carry throughout their life in the education system. The head of state further directed the education ministry to put in place effective plans to institutionalize the ongoing reforms in the sector to ensure sustainability and entrenchment, saying there was no room for sliding back on the reforms. In the reforms, the ministry will speed up the implementation of education information management system planned to ensure that education data in the country is accurate, current and available to facilitate accurate decision making and deployment of resources. Education Cabinet Secretary Fred Matiani says the speeding up will eradicate malpractices in the marking and relaying of results. I want my colleagues who are here in the education sector to get me loud and clear. This is the way we are going to operate. The irresponsibility with which we have worked before, where we uh, mark exams or sometimes we keep them for a month or two to negotiate and engage in all manner of monkey business, that will not happen again. This is how we are going to operate before. The Ministry of Education and partner agencies, including the Teacher Service Commission, have also been tasked with ensuring the completion of a comprehensive digitization of all their records and programs within the next one year, with Education CSE seeing a stern warning to teachers keen on compromising the reforms. We have a lot of work we need to do to encourage some of our colleagues to do the right thing. And I'm not going to uh, mince my words about this. There is a level of professional recklessness among us, some of our colleagues, irresponsibility. Eight or nine out of ten teachers in the country are very serious people, ready and committed to do their work. Why should we allow one out of ten people to hurt the reputation of a noble profession? It is obvious that teachers play the most critical role in inculcating the right values in our children at the right age. If our teachers do not instill the values, we, we can be sure that all attempts by other socializing agents can only achieve limited success. I took time to look at the scripts. I am not briefed. I have not slept for I don't know how many days. And you find the child has nothing to write. So we as teachers, some of us are guilty as charged. Are you one of them? And if you are one of them, it is between you and your God. Can we stop destroying our children?